Hey guys, it's me, Freddy Grasper, and unfortunately my microphone was not recording at the time of making this video, which is something I found out while I was editing this video, which is kind of interesting because I had some good, really good reactions to them. Like after I took a break from the server for a while, I was not expecting this to happen. So anyway, well, the first thing I noticed like, there's like two people on the server, and they were talking about some kind of nether highway. But the most surprising out of all of this was when I was going from the corner. Yep, as you can see, there are now apparently cl zombie clones on the server, and two of them just happened to show up on my base. They would spawn at random, from what I've heard on the Discord server, and I thought it was going to be some point of prank, but no, that's actually legit, that's actually just a new spawn mechanic area. And you can see, I was kind of surprised, I was just trying to like get like a good vantage point of them, and they get put on the corner of my own place, it was not So the first clone I found was of Bean. Which I've heard of, but never actually met before. I, it's probably like a new member, or a recent member. As you can see, it took a while to kill because they're in full diamond armor, and all I had was an iron sword to defend myself. And then came that Starlight's clone. And I just realized that, as you can see here, the zombies don't have the brain capacity to jump over Azalea bushes. So I decided to use that to my advantage over here. So I, try, I got it on the Azalea bushes that I can gather, and excluding the monster stuff. And, yeah, as you can see here, I decided to fortify my area of residence, which is only temporary, by the way. It's not the permanent location, but only temporary, still. As you can see here, I was going to stay here. I might as well make it a little more safer. And, yeah. And now, uh, what's to come next? Ah, yes, this. See, there's this there's a little nether portal highway that everyone's been taking around to get to a transplant server that the other members have used. And I have not known about that yet. So, one of the members who are currently on now decided to give me a tour. Their name was Antheon. And they're very nice. And they're part of the Embers Kingdom, which is very exclusive. But, yeah. And I see how the new member now decided to give me a tour. So, they called me. So, once I was done with this, after I got all the loot from the, the temple, I let him not, them know that I was ready to get the tour done and underway. As you can see here, yeah. Pretty decent stuff. TNT and some sister swords. And so here I am, being teleported to the end portal, where I actually met the man himself, Antheon. 130. Or 138, sorry. It's very hard to see the numbers on my screen at the moment. So, he decided to give me a tour of this whole area. Oh, also, this area where I am right now is actually the Ember's Kingdom itself. Do you know what I'm looking at right now? That's actually the Ember's Kingdom. And yeah. Here's the Nepora Highway, all the glass here. There is an exclusive area, as you can see behind them, but yeah. Alright, off we go to the first area. Let's just give a head to when I get to there. Okay, and here we are. This is actually a historical area for the Embers, because, well, fun fact, that this is actually where they first founded their areas and their kingdom. Pretty small, but historical, as in the wise words of Entheon. Eventually, we did get up to the surface, and yeah. It was like a whole cool area, like there was like a, and the trees, and another rank, and there's a shrine over there, for the first embers members, you know? And I <laughs> think he got kind of burned, it's kind of a... But also, what was crazy is that, I think I know the reason why they moved. You see that mountain over there, the one where I'm about to look at, where Anthony's looking at right now? That mountain over there? Apparently, there's an evil wizard living in that mountain. And yeah, it's called the Arcanos wizard, which is basically an evil wizard on the server, not to uh, cause like, a lot of the destruction and chaos on him. And I didn't know about this, so I decided to add it for info. And yeah. So, basically, well, the theory that's going on right now with the whole member set, this wizard is basically the cause of the zombie clothes that have been appearing all over them. And here's that starlight. Everybody can run with that starlight. Woohoo! I actually know them because they've actually been nice to me. Actually, the first ones to give me presents. Fun fact. So yeah, there's this evil wizard making evil clones apparently. And that's not the only crazy things we're going on the server, as you see momentarily. Anyway, so here I am in a two portal room, and when both of them lead to the Nautic Kingdom, the next kingdom on the list I was trying to see. And yes, as they said, they are in a cave, both snowy and normal. As you can see right here, we're in the snowy area, but mainly, we're inside of a lush caves. So they have like a similar idea of, of a peaceful area. So yeah. And they live all the way down there. And each member has their own, their own little individual caves that they reside in. And yeah. 
And I went on this waterfall right here. Woohoo! And yeah, we decided to explore some of these caves. And it was very cool. They had a similar idea to what I have for our home base. Looks like I got ahead of me. Alright, I better get on that soon. Yeah, it takes one to know one to know. Very good area, you know? Very peaceful. We did find Dream Kingdom's room, whoever that is. And let's just say there's a whole lot of pets here. Cats, birds, dogs, even chickens. Let's just hit. Uh, let's just get here. Anyway, it's Rainbow Island. This island here has been bordered off. And the reason why it's called Rainbow Island, is, as you'll see right about now, there's a lot of color sheep. And it's very noisy. Very, very noisy. So let's just skip right ahead, shall we? Okay, back here again. We're trying to go next to Flaming Skies. Or what appears to be Flaming Skies from the photos. And it's like a warm area. And yeah, and Dead Starline just went off to go see some MCC stuff. As you can see right here. And yeah. So here it is. Flaming Skies area. There's this big, like, huge tower right there. I never actually got to see what was inside the tower. But it's still pretty cool. Let's see, I want the interesting thing that they have in this player. As you see right now, is that there's like this whole machine area thing. Oh, here it okay. is. Yeah, sorry. I didn't time these well enough. Anyway, this is like a rainbow machine that's supposed to take it into the true Flaming Skies area. Unfortunately, it doesn't work at the moment. But when it does, it'll probably take them to like a whole cool area f for the Flaming Skies people to live on. Probably find like a new location. Anyway, back to this topic at hand. There are these zombie clones here that just happen to be in this little building here. Turns out this is actually a research facility for the reoccurrences of these clones. Right here. I think it's right here. And yeah. Someone's gotta get on that. And it's probably that evil wizard as Antheon mentioned. And yeah, here he comes right now. Uh, here's me showing the area. And we're going to go back to the nether at this point. There's, more, there's, there's like a lot more in this kingdom that I wanted to show you. But unfortunately, we really don't have the time to do that. Anyway, next up was a villager farm. Where they actually have like a zombification area for the villagers. If you want to kill them for trades and whatnot. And yeah, just push them in the village and here they come. And as you can see here, they use like Wallace's method of a villager breeder farm. Where they have like a little crop area, a farmer, and a normal. And just like breed like crazy or something. And I believe it's off now because it was getting too overcrowded with villagers. Yeah. That's the one issue with it. Okay, next up was t this actually the spawn throne. There's actually a portal to the spawn throne. I shouldn't even know about. All I have to do now is go climb up this hill over there. And yeah, this is just like a whole area right there. <laughs> it's like, and I just noticed that if it was in the opposite direction of where I went, so if I went the other way around, I would probably would have gotten here sooner than I expected. I got a lot of a lot of things I expected. And yeah. Here we are back at the throne, and I was like, I thought I kept my distance because the last time I went closer to the throne, it was not a pleasant experience. Let me tell you that much right now. Yeah. So after that, <laughs> uh, nightmare, we went back to the netherworld, but it didn't take us back to the moon. Instead, it took us into like some kind of um, basalt delta biome. And yeah, this is like a literal problem for people who want to go back. To the Narapona Highway because yeah, you find yourself here is a pretty dangerous place already. Even for Antheon, who's destroying the portal as we speak right now. So we do have we were trying to find a location, well mainly Antheon search of location, or place of familiarity, to, to try and find the kingdom of embers, because he believes that they're not though so far at the moment. And yeah, I decided to go along with him. Hopefully he knew the way. And he did know the way, actually, because as you can see right here, we decided to traverse in a certain direction in the Basalt Deltas. And here's me blind and trusting him. I wasn't really sure, but hey, it was one way to get out of the Basalt Deltas. And eventually paid off in trusting him. Because eventually we did end up in the Nether Waste Biomes. And he did say that we are close to the Ember's Kingdom. This is a good sign, first of all. We did have to do use, use uh, an Ender Portal to get across the Nether. It was like, very risky. Do not try and do and the portals across the area and so yeah however we didn't wind up in another experiment area which is like right around here and eventually we actually got close to embers 
three, two, one. And yeah, we here we are to the end three with the core first and everything. There's actually like a little secret area the damage can go through, so don't tell anybody about this. So, and then eventually we got back to the kingdom. And I was starting thinking to myself that they should probably fix that and the portal issue in case someone like me wants to come back through the portal to the highway through using the throne, spawn drone portal. Okay, and on to the next area, which is actually Door Door. There are one more kingdom left because I did have a plan to go explore all the kingdoms. And yeah, unfortunately though, they didn't have like a set portal direction in the nether just yet. They decided to go only overworld at the moment. Also, there's a little private location as you saw right there. Anyway, oh, anyway, they also said you could go to the end from here. There's actually an, an, another portal to the stronghold, which was something we actually did check out later. So stay tuned. But for now, let's go to Dorador. Through the usage of the uh, this portal right here. And this is the next crazy thing that happened, actually. You see this area right here? Can you hear it? I'll give it two seconds to guess what's going on. You think we're in the nether, aren't we? Now let me tell you something. This ain't the nether. This is another breach. Yep. <laughs> Apparently, there, somebody has a breach, breach in the nether and has ripped a, fa a hole in the fabric of the universe, which has combined both the nether and the overrun one place so that nether mobs can explode at random here. It's basically leaking the whole nether in there. And it's pretty hectic, yeah. Who actually... I actually think it's the wizard, most of them. The wizard has to be If I could kill the wizard, I would. But I can't at this moment. And yeah. It's actually was on next to a village. That's crazy. And it's just bombing out of nowhere. So yeah. Let's actually get out of here, shall we? This is me and Isa going inside a cottage where we actually found a treasure chest with a book and a player head on a two angry wolf. So the book here, that's seems to tell a story. I thought it was like a, one day there was a boat that showed up out of nowhere, and the next day, it vanished, and then some kind of light came. I assume it has to do with that nether breach that uh, Anton showcased, and it's actually wreaking havoc in this area. So uh, once uh, we actually did leave this area, and we actually eventually ran into another zombie clone on our way to Dorador, -Door, and he was like doing something, so I had to bravely fight to fight this one off. I imagine he noticed and decided to help me out here. Using a special bow, which I didn't even know what that was a capable of. And yeah, he did find us in zombie but It's like a baby zombie, I tried to find him, but then I like, showed up. But don't worry, he is a dino, pretty cool. As you can see right there. Yeah, no problem. So glad I can help. And eventually we went to Dorna, and you wouldn't believe what I saw. When I first saw him, there you go. That's, that's door and door right there. And I was like, whoa, that's so cool, you know? And there was like a lot of infrastructure there. Like, there's like a lot of stuff. Like, he, Quarter to Doom was like not kidding when he said that the, their kingdom was like based on a lot of infrastructure. And I was starting to see why Quarter Doom has desperately been asking me to visit that area. Because it's so cool. They got a lot of farms here, they got a lot of resources, they even got their own mines and everything. It's so like cool. Like, I wish I was able to record my reaction to it, because it was so, like, genuine, but at last, the microphone was not recording. And, yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is like, the iron from the Nostrugans right now. And this is, like, the little area of residence. So, upstairs in the, in the surface, that's where the villagers live. But down here, this is where all the dwarves live. Which makes sense, because dwarves tend to, like, to go on the ground, for the most part, as I've seen in cartoons. But yes, yeah, overall, it's like pretty cool. That it's like it's a multi-story floor. They even have their own mines that extends down to bedrock, and they have their little cool enchantment area, and they have their own banners, and as ex and they even have their own aquarium, as you'll see right about now. Little aquarium area, or like an underwater area, which is like pretty cool overall. Like out of all the four kingdoms, this has got to be like the coolest kingdom I've seen so far. No offense to all the other kingdoms, but yeah, this is like pretty cool. And here we go, down the tunnel we go. Okay, so after that, we eventually had to leave. And I noticed there was like a little building there with like, with like its own nether portal. Wasn't sure what that was. But hopefully I could come back here and I could check it out. You know, after I get past all the nether breach area. Oh, speaking of the nether breach, 
you actually see here, like if you get close to it, the sky will start to turn a bit red. And there's starting to go black particles and everywhere, and it starts to get hectic from here. That's how you know you're close to the nether, be sure, yeah. We did run into like a few clones on, on the way. Like here, here's a clone of the Austria, leader of the Nautic Kingdom. And here, and here's a clone of someone I haven't met named called Lavender or something. There's another person I haven't met yet. Is, are there? Are they actually a part of the Doom SMP? Or are they just like a NPC or something? I don't know. Anything can happen at this point. But yeah, this one's actually a skeleton. I have to drop an arrow around in flesh. Anyway, oh, the only good advantage is of the breaches that there's a blaze from now. Yeah, that's about it. And so we're back here, and that's off to the end. And as you can see here, I was grabbing, I got some like a blaze rods and, and a blaze head, because yeah, I actually need these stuff. Oh, hey, come on, I'm poor. I get to move out a little, can't I? Anyway, all right, off to the end. Yes, sirree. And here's some giving me some trash armor for some reason. I'll keep it though as a token of, you know, gratitude. And him actually showcasing it. And here we are, the end portal frame. They actually only let this area up. They didn't actually explore the stronghold, which is something I did later after exploring the end. But yeah, here we go. Let me just clear some area. And now we're here to the end area. Well, as you can see, they already cleared up some of the good stuff already. And they already beat the end dragon. And actually making a platform, which is under construction at the moment. But I bet it's going to look really cool once they finish it. I should probably help out with the end of portal area. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see here, the end portal outer cities have already been tamped on already and have been unlocked. But there's still some goodies from what I've heard. You know, and also the most coolest thing that I've seen so far is this. They actually have an XP farm of endermen and they actually have their own ender pearl farm for both XPs and ender pearls, which is again kind of cool. And I see I have to turn on the hostile mother because uh, and I can see here, look at my inventory. It's almost filled with end of their portals. That's crazy, right? Oh, also you get mad XP with this. See that? See how fast that went? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, especially my own drug got all filled with like and and portals. And yeah, I had to put in a chest over there. And it's like a chant area, and that's it. That's the tour. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was able to get in to see like almost everything that the server has to offer. And what each kingdom is offer. So I left. Well, actually, this has oh, fun fact this actually area is actually restricted to embers, but they're willing to, to use to let us use it, like under certain terms of trades and whatnot. Yeah, that's us moving on. It's a, good, it's a good thing I didn't have to give him anything. It's freebie this time. Wait, the next thing. How come you should get the? Uh -huh. Also, I'll probably lose all the ender pearls that they're gonna throw in the wood anyway, so yeah. Free ender pearls for me. <laughs> And here I am back at the stronghold. Well, I decided to explore the rest of the area because they haven't used this board again. There's actually some really good loot here. There's some golden apples, some bread, and some iron, as you can see right here. There's also feel like enchantment books as well. At least they actually took the library books. Anything did offer to have my area be linked to the Nether Portal Highway, but it wasn't really great. Wedding and also didn't have like a set location for the Nether Portal yet. And yeah, that's about it. But hey, you know, eventually, I don't think I'm so situated. I'll probably have like an area of residence, and I'll probably have like a my place linked to the net apartment. Not yet, though, because I'm still set in, and, and my trust in people is still a bit fragile. But yeah, maybe in the future, I'll probably invest in like an apartment. And I'm, so yeah, thanks for the offer, remember. And here's me trying to find my way back to the end portal frame area after getting lost after exploring a lot of the stronghold. Yeah, this, this is not a fun. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, we're back here to the snowy area. Where the snow is. Where I determined that every time I want to go back to the net, but I wait. I had to come back here instead. Because, yeah. Like I said, I'm not ready to have, like, my own area be linked to the net portal highway just yet. I want to keep it a secret for now. Right? right and like I said, down the line. Who knows? Also, we got to fix that nether portal. As well, like, I don't want to have to go through, like, the same issue again with, like, the Basalt Deltas and everything. So, yeah, if they can fix that, that'll be great. Hopefully, they're watching this. Yeah. 
And that's about it for this episode. I'm sorry I have to do like a voiceover. Hopefully the mic will start recording once I get to the nine. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are watching this anyway, like comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. I have a Discord server if you want to travel and everything. And yeah, be ready to check out my other content in the meantime. And I guess that's about it. I'm about to end off here. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.